Hello there, everybody. What's up, guys? This is the Comman here, and today we are playing Plague Inc. This is a game where you literally make a plague and try and infect and kill the whole world in as uh, as little amount of days as possible. It's an amazing game. It's all about strategy. Uh, let's get right into it. Now, I have played this before, uh, not on this device. Uh, no, I don't want to learn how to play the game. New game, going with bacteria. And so let's just go with casual, that way then I can show it off as uh, best as I can. Go with the con man. And that messed up. Man. I can't put in that many. Okay. Um, this is the name of the disease, so let's just go with con man. There we go. I don't have genes yet, but I can unlock them when I play normal mode. If you guys want to see more of this, post it in the comments below, and I can certainly make this a series. Um, this game's amazing. There's so much you can do with it. Uh, eventually, you get into nanobots where you can basically, like, with the push of a button, kill the entire population. It's pretty neat. Okay. Welcome to Plague Inc. You are a new bacteria. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping all humans in the ultimate plague. Touch the country your plague will start in. Now, I have some vast knowledge about this already. So, I'm going to go ahead and start off right in Saudi Arabia. Because they have a seaport and an airport. Um, Conman begins in Saudi Arabia. Conman has infected his first human week, but used to hot temperatures. And must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. So, right now I have one DNA point with one person infected. And I gain DNA points. So, let me just go into my disease. First thing... Uh, that I'm gonna do is get my transmission because I need to infect a lot of people first Then I go to my symptoms or my abilities actually I'm probably gonna do abilities first and get some drug resistance and some cold resistance and then bacterial resistance Then I'll go to symptoms once I have a huge cache and I evolve cysts and continue up directly to um, Total organ failure which basically kills everyone within like a minute so it's very, very, very quick process to just set up. And it wins with most of the diseases. I know it works with uh, bacteria. Pop orange DNA bubbles to get DNA. Oh, yes, I already know this. Four. How much do I need for my first one? Nine. I'm at five. Six. Okay, need more. So, oh, Eurozone near collapse. This actually can affect your game. Politicians have confirmed that political short-sightedness and self-interest may result in the total breakup of the Euro. Um, this global news, they'll pop up quite frequently, and it actually does uh, affect your, your score. Because if there's a tornado and many people die, which happens sometimes, um, you'll actually get a dead count. Even though your disease hasn't killed anybody. Oh, it begins to spread. Okay, I have enough. Sweet. Water. I'm going to go with air first. Normally, air is pretty, pretty bad. Because you can't really run away from it. From a... Okay, thank you very much for 15, uh, 1500 XP. And leveling up. Great. Okay, you have successfully evolved Con Man. You have spent DNA points to evolve your disease, and more options have opened up. Get more points by popping DNA and biohazard bubbles and infecting people. Well, obviously. That's the whole point of the game. Okay. Starting off pretty good. Yeah, this is actually a simulator as well, as it says right here. Um, it's a realistic model of the world, or is a, at least as realistic as, you know, we can get. Um, and it actually does replicate it pretty well. Uh, now, in normal mode, you know, like, it's pretty easy because doctors never wash their hands, regular checkups, things like that don't happen. But you can actually go into scenarios where you'll have certain disease, you'll have so many DNA points, and you have to, uh, beat out the cure when the cure is at, say, 99%. Yes, if I want to find out more about the country that I am infecting and essentially going to murder, yes, I know that, I can go to the world... I can go to my data, I can I can check all that, or I can click right here, and it'll tell me. I have 259 people infected from here, and 71 million people are healthy. 
So 1% of the population, a little under that, is uh, infected right now. And as it says up top... <laughs> oh. Con man infects hundreds. Con man has infected hundreds in Saudi Arabia, increasing the chance that an imper infected person will infect a healthy person. Keep evolving your disease. So I've worked up a small bank. I'm going to go here. And then next I have to go with my water. So... Another reason why I chose Saudi Arabia is, like I said, airport and a seaport, meaning that, oh, uh, mean that they'll infect other countries through those. And also, Saudi Arabia uh, has a lot of planes that go to and from it, so it's almost like a central base for spreading the disease. It spreads to Middle East. Middle East has been infected. Your disease has taken an important step in becoming a plague. When a new country is infected, pop the red bubble to get bonus DNA. Sweet. Okay, I need 10, wasn't it, for water? No, 11 now. As you evolve, it costs more DNA points to evolve things, which does make it a little difficult, but the more people you infect, the better off you are. Yes, people are getting infected faster and faster. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Going off with water. Once I get that for 18, then I have one that costs about 30, and it'll completely infect, like, there will be no way to stop it from being transmitted, any, uh, basically. I don't see any infected planes going yet, though, which is annoying, because I have it fully maxed out for what it can be right now. 78,000, 104,000. Sweet, there goes my first infected plane. My second infected plane. Okay. Okay. There we go. So see, uh, this is the reason why I chose Saudi Arabia is because they are literally everywhere they travel. Uh, it's one of the biggest traveling countries in this game. Yes. I am completely murdering the world. Oh no. If I miss the bubbles, they'll disappear. Um, no, I need 18. Okay. At 16, I only need 18 in order to get what I need. Oh, there's that country out there. Transmission. 18. Now, yeah, 20 for extreme. Bio aerosol. Pathogen bypasses air and water filters due to adaptive cellular shell. Increase infectivity, especially in humid and arid uh, climates and plane slash trip transmission. Did I say trip? I meant ship. Um, anyway. Let's keep on going. Sweet, I think I just have got the USA infected. Uh, I feel so bad now, because now I'm going to kill my own country. Canada just sitting up there nice and pretty. So, uh, yeah. Now, the hardest country to actually infect is Greenland. And it's actually a rather small uh, population, but because they only have a seaport, if you shut down, if they shut down their seaport before you get to them, it's going to be so difficult to infect them. Sometimes um, you'll get lucky and the pathogen will move over seas to them, but in most cases, you basically have to say, okay, I give up. Because you can't wait forever on Greenland to become, uh-oh, pause, 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 oh, I'm going to lose bubbles. Oh, I lost a bubble. Okay. Transmission. There. It is now going to just move freely through ships and planes. And infect everything. And is it noticed yet? No, it has not been noticed. And this is the world. I have 2% of the world contaminated right now. So it hasn't been noticed. I have like 2% of the world. This is awesome. Okay. So as you can see, Saudi Arabia has basically become like a hub for transmitting my disease. Got Russia. Okay, I don't think I actually need to really... Actually, yeah, I do. I need to worry about the cold climate thing, because Greenland is the coldest one on here. No. Uh... Okay, I'm going to move this like right down there. Can I still hit my disease button? No. Okay. I'll move it over to where the world is then. 
Okay, I have, oh, whoa, that jumped. I have 36. So, evolve, and evolve. There. Now it's basically able to go straight to cold climates as well. I love the sound effects of this thing too. It is so cool how uh, how well thought out this game is. And the game in total, it's really fun to play because you're basically a mastermind that if you choose the right places and you make the right moves, you'll go unnoticed and basically win. And there's nothing that anyone uh, that the world can really do to stop you except for try and make a cure. And it just kind of shows how easy it is for the world, you know, um, do I want a mutation yet? Wait, wait, wait. Symptom, coughing, not, it raises the severity. Okay, I'll, I'll get rid of it for two DNA points, because that's going to save me in the long run. I don't want any big severity or any lethality yet. I want to basically quietly infect the whole world so i'm just gonna uh can't fast forward later okay so oh that means that it's uh it's in some hotter countries okay i like my little spider web that i'm weaving here now i'm just waiting on it to get to greenland once it's at Greenland, then I can really start to go crazy, but I don't want it noticed until Greenland. Because if I miss that, I basically lose the game. I just have to wait for one ship to make it over there. Transmission. Can I make it go over? First become susceptible to infection. Avian characters increase infectivity. Land transmission and mutation. That's a land thing. That's a land thing. Hot climate. Uh, bird. Bird. No, I don't think I'm gonna... I'm gonna let a ship do it for me. Um, come on. There's so many little boats just moving around freely. Oh, and it has made its way to Greenland. Okay, now I can really stop worrying. I have no worries left about my disease. It's in Greenland, and it's going to take that out pretty quickly. Alright, so far we've gone completely unnoticed, which is crazy. Um, oh, Russia, right up there. Their infectivity is, like, multiplying by the millions. Okay. It's the USA even. That's like one of the first countries I infected. Um, let's see. Let's give it some drug resistance. Ooh, 28, 28, 28. Mm. I'm going to hold off for that. I don't think that's worth 28 just to infect a country. Which is already infected. It'll just speed it up a little bit more. How long have I been recording for? I can't really tell. Hmm. Okay. USA is becoming pretty, uh, no. Not yet. Oh, 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 I hear a bubble. There we go. Is there any way that I can speed up the disease? Transmission. Symptoms. No, okay. Business as usual. Hmm. Okay. Insomnia. No, I don't need that one. That was actually a very far path. Okay. Although I will start allowing mutations where. It's coming to a point where I'm going to have to end the episode very soon. 
Canada. Of course, it'd be my own country that wouldn't infect very easily. Up there, Finland, Sweden, and Norway. They're also just hanging on by a thread. I know I need to evolve the kill. It's not been noticed. 99% of the world is infected. <laughs> All right. So it's looking pretty good. If only it would just, you know, reel on. There's really nothing that I can do to speed it up right now. It is literally me waiting on Canada in pretty much that's it. Yeah. Completely infected. Completely infected. Get some DNA bubble. It's just Canada. It's completely good for cold. I'm still not willing... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Um, abilities... There, that should speed it up in Canada a little bit. Oh, look at the jump. Almost 10% instantly. Um, I'm guessing that's, like, something about Canada's healthcare, which I guess is good. I, I don't know. I don't really know what <laughs> good healthcare... But yeah, I'm gonna... Mm. Should I leave it? Yeah, I'll leave it. If anything. What's the world at? 31% left. There's only 10 million people healthy. That should end pretty quickly. Yeah, they spotted me. Okay. 10 years. So it's not a high priority yet. No healthy people? Alright, let's just start murdering foos. And up, and up, and up. Lethality. Everything that gives me lethality, I want. Tumors, sure. Eternal hemorrhaging, yeah, sure. <laughs> and watch the dead climb. Any second now. Three years. First death in Russia. Yeah, it's not going to be the only death. Okay, sweet. We have done it in like a year? Is that the speed that I was going? Oh, this might be my new record. <laughs> now, as you watch, you'll actually see... Oh, okay, I thought I wasn't getting any dead. No, it's killing pretty quick. I thought, uh, yeah, this might actually be my record for the fastest time. Killed more than the Spanish flu. So basically, this is the best I've ever done where I've completely infected the entire world and then they see it, which is already like too late. Oh, okay, I have 10, 11. Let's see how much I get. And then I'll just like upgrade it and make it even worse. Jamas, I'm like killing 100,000 at a time. That is scary. I would not want to be on the receiving end of this. Fever, that's like, okay. I need 30 for hemorrhaging, uh, hemorrhagic shock is what it's called. Sure, I'll take it. Okay, let's make the lethality even worse, shall we? Boom. Wait, what's that that came up? Oh, that'll make it super bad. Okay, necrosis. Wait, what's necrosis do? Large swaths of infected tissue lose blood supply and become fatal sources of gangrene. Decomposed bodies remain a vector of transmission. Ew. That does not sound nice. Oh, Peru's gone. <laughs> Wait, is there any, like, dead world yet? Oh, no. Oh, it's a race against the cure. Okay, I know what I have to do to get rid of it. Abilities. More work. It's going to take them longer to do it. Hey, yeah, uh, you know, you know all that, you know all that work that you just put in? Yeah, it's going to take more work to to do it. Congratulations. I just put them down four. Um Man, that is killing 
fast. Way too fast for my likings. I would hate to actually see something like this come around. I mean, anyone would, logically. <laughs> Nobody wants to see a d the, like the world's deadliest virus come around the world and just like come out of nowhere. It's like, hey, everyone has it. No, I love this game, though. It's so, like... Oh, you just kind of sneak up out of nowhere and just take everyone by surprise. There, it's even more lethal. It's only a matter of time. Zimbabwe's government has fallen. Hmm. Central America's government has fallen. Wow. A surprise there's still news. Central Europe's government has fallen? Yep. Man. That is... Oh. Common muta mutation patterns extraordinary. They're extraordinary, as some people say. Scientists are struggling to understand the extraordinary mutation patterns on Con Man. Who, researchers, say that this setback will damage cure efforts. I know that it's do uh, that's World Health Organization, but I prefer to say who. Like Doctor Who. Wow, down to just two, mil uh, two million, one million. Not many people left. Oh, 400,000. Command to destroy humanity. Command has destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. Last few humans know they are watching the end of history. Yes, they are. That is true. There's 23, 46, 21, 8. Hey, look. Yay. And. Look at my disease. There's the graph. Man, severity, lethality, everything just jumped in, like, the matter of a few days. Alright. World graph. There's a world infection and death. And there's the cure graph. That's all they got done out of my uh, cure requirement. Alright. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked that, give that uh, video a like down below. Let me know if you want more videos in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. This is The Con Man, signing off.